this guy's lack of self-awareness and just understanding of why maybe some people aren't fans of him let's see what he has to say about the trolls traumatizing you, you might know? be right but well, there's that like with the killing because i mean it's so fucking terrible and tragic and ruins families and lives i don't i don't the the serial killer thing i don't know why i'm drawn to because then on the other end of that like really bad like trolls or haters like just vindictive like really nasty I, I just, I turn a blind eye because I can't even understand but that. But that's the same idea. So, so but the to, same to me, idea with, to, to me, Comparing the Idaho killings of these four innocent slain students who are minding their business, living their lives, doing what they do best and being young, being fun and hanging out and having a whale of a time in college and their lives were, you know, cruelly and brutally taken away from them that had left a scar and a wound in their family in their local community that's probably never going to heal, right? People are going to miss them forever and ever. Comparing that situation to what he's going through with the trolls, with the detractors, with the people who have constructive criticism about him as a person and what he's done, or maybe just don't like some of the things that he's done publicly that have been spoken about is absolutely insane. Like the levels of insanity this is, don't even need to be kind of you can't even try to rationalize and make it sense like it's legit weird idaho murders to him with that i don't understand it like and i don't want to understand yeah it. i assume they're they have their own issues that's why they're directing the hate towards us or to whoever i don't understand it it because the same way i guess i don't understand why that piece of shit in idaho killed those kids i don't understand it because those kids did oh, nothing but, to him but, 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 but also when it comes to like me or you with me it's like hold on you guys want to but you want basically want me to live on the street with my wife and children because i no one wants that no one said that do free podcasts and stand up well no that's you know what i'm saying it it, but uh, to uh, me but, it's, but, but i can't people, understand it. there are people okay 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 okay, okay, okay. again this guy is like it, it kind of is an insult to your intelligence sometimes how this guy comprehends life let's just think back to the first instance why some people might turn into homeless cats that first story of him saying he threw that guy through a glass window because he put his finger in his food and he did all that sort of nonsense, right? Let's actually get it up, actually. Let's actually get this up because that story alone could be a reason why some people might not like you, right? And just say, you know what? Fuck this guy. He's a piece of shit. Kind of told. I don't know if I've ever told him in detail. So I had a roommate who was s s the biggest bitch on the team. For whatever reason, I had to room with the kid. And me and him did not get along. We played the same position. <sighs> Best place. So he, would, he was the guy where, dude, what's mine is yours. I ate like one Triscuit. And then I come home and he put sticky notes all, all over his entire food. Let's play this. He opened the box of Nutri-Grain, put it all in, and I go, what the fuck? So what do I do? I eat all of it and I throw out the rest and then put it all back. <laughs> throw out, then, then I go to practice. <laughs> That's funny. And I come back. That's so funny. Right? And, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to throw down, right? I'm like, all right, I'm just going to fuck this dude up and we're going to figure it out. I, my phone's ringing like nonstop. I'm like, what the fuck? I answer it. I go, hello? It's his mom. He called his mom and told his mom what I did. We're in college. Come We're on. juniors in your sophomore Come. in college. I'm like, that guy sucks. Listen to this. Oh, these, all these people suck. Brian, Brian Callen, the so cuck. Like, the Brian Callen, the mom? original Brendan Schaub cuck. The original Brendan Schaub enabler. Look at him cucking away. Oh, my God. Let's just go. And I just go. His mom's like, talk to me. I yell at me. I just go, get the fuck out of here. Hang up. The Super disrespectful, which I never am. But get the fuck out of here. Hang up the phone. And so... Uh, I, at the time, there's only one parking spot for our place. So his mother said, Brennan, you ate all of his food? You, you got to pay it back. You need to apologize. And started tearing into me about my character. I went, fuck off. Hung up the phone. Which, Jesus so Christ. Like that, I'm gonna rip your face of off, course. Which is all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to fight this case. Yeah. So, you know, I'm never disrespect like that. Nah. So then there's one parking of spot. Of course. And he knew the only way to get back at me was to take that parking spot. The in trap parking in Sea Boulder is terrible. So he goes, hey, man, it's in our lease. I get that parking spot uh, three days a week. You get it four, I get three. I went, but you don't even have a car. It just doesn't matter. I want that spot three days a week. It's in my lease. Otherwise, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all right, man. So he gets a, he parks his bike there. He parks his bike in the parking spot. And I take at my time my girlfriend's car who can't park there. I park it on the other side. Well, just so happens that morning we had uh, winter conditioning at 5 a.m. I go to get in my car, which is in the spot, and it's broken into. All windows are bashed. The radio's taken out. All my gear, football gear's taken out. My wallet's gone. Like, oh, well, that's the final straw. I walk in, and I'm like, all right, man, 
car got broken into because you want to be a bitch, we're going to fight right now. Whoever wins stays. Whoever loses leaves. What? Deal. We're just going to handle this like men. We're not going to, it's not going to leave from here. I'm going to fuck you up. And, he goes, and this is all because the guy didn't want to share his food, which you're allowed to do, right? You're allowed to have your own food in your own room, even if you're sharing a room with somebody. The guy didn't want to give him his food. He ate it anyway, right? Threw it all out, cursed his mum out on the phone, and now he's basically wanting to fight him because of what? This, and again, this is one of the reasons why people could not like you. So he said, oh, the only people don't like me because I put out free podcasts and because I do stand-up comedy. No, 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 no. This is one of the reasons. They could listen to a story and think, you're a piece of shit. Let's just, look, let's just continue. I'm not fighting you. I'll call the cops. I went, nope, I'm, I promise you, you're going to have to fight me. He goes, I'm not going to fight you. I went, that's not an option, man. I'm so mad. The car's broke. We've been through this enough. Whoever loses, leaves. Did he break in? He didn't. We, don't no, he didn't. we have no yeah, idea. Yeah. So I take my sweatshirt off. I'm just in sweats and no shirt now because I don't want you know I don't want to grab my shirt. Yeah. I'm ready to fight. UFC style. Yeah. So I've been watching UFC, right? But you hadn't fought. No, no training, point. nothing. That's great. And I go, we're going to fight. And he goes, I'm not fighting you. So I'm like, God, what's the number one thing I can get to get? Because I want him to fight me first. Yeah. So I don't get kicked off the team. Yeah. So I go fucking Ace Ventura 2 style. go. <laughs> Loogie right in his face. Jesus Christ. We're face to face. Wow. Jesus he does Christ. Nothing still. Wow. He's I'm not he, big dude too. I'm not fighting you. Good luck giving me to fight. So finally I just lost my cool. I grabbed him by his sweatshirt and I grabbed him and threw him through our glass door. Shattered our glass door. Jesus Christ. Then I went to practice okay. and told the entire team what happened. And you know I'm a good storyteller. So yeah. I just roasted this dude so so bad we had to move out right uh, you move out but the next morning uh you know there's all this hearsay he called the cops on me what a fucking bitch. bitch what a bitch gary barnett oh yeah that's the bitch right yeah somebody minding his own business living his own life who gets assaulted right <laughs> He gets goaded into trying to fight, spat on, thrown through a glass window because he just didn't want to let you. He didn't want to. He didn't want to give you an Oreo or whatever it may be, right? He wanted to keep them to himself. Go buy your own Oreos, and then this turned into this whole affair. Okay, cool. It calls me up in his office. I'm like, well, I was brand new to the team. I'm like, I'm getting kicked off for sure for this fucking scrub. This is how Baron Scott should handle this. Go to his office. Me and Gary Bryant had this great office. He has a huge chair, and you're knee to knee facing each other you can't look anywhere damn it's very intimidating damn I'm like damn that's how i'm gonna go and he goes sit down shab he liked me because i was hard worker yeah. right i was like a fucking yeah. i was a guy man yeah. i fucking did yeah. everything yeah. he asked for yeah yeah alpha male man man fuck chicks right yeah fast cars fuck chicks wear trainers yeah 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 cool Brass i'd on. run through a wall for this of look, course. look at callan callan's got a legit boner on looking at this stone the story look at callan's face callan's got a legit Just boner down, on. look Shab. look at callan's face because you want to tell me what happened? I went, Coach, listen, I didn't want to come to this. He, and I told him, I went, he did this, this, and this. I didn't want it to even get into your on your desk. I wanted to fight. Loser moves out. No one's going to get hurt. We're just going to fight each other like grown-ass men. <laughs> we're in college, we're not grown men. That's great. And then the loser leaves. Yeah. I go, that's it, man. I understand. You know, it looks bad PR. It looks like shit. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to embarrass you. I, I get it. You got to do what you got to do. He goes, we need more guys like you on this team. Is this what we're gonna do? He goes, come in and work. Look at Callan's face, the fucking weasel. Look at him. Look at Callan. Look at Callan. Room, uh, like I had like. Like if 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 Brendan whipped out his piece right now and said suck it, he'd probably suck it in that moment, in that midst of that. Oh, sorry. What what? He'd definitely give you a little kiss. Twenty four hours community service. He goes and just have the guy sign off it. Just lift more. That'd be your community service, but um, we, we need more guys like you. If you heard that story alone, just that one story, just one story alone of this guy, right? Just this one little story of this guy, this will let this would make you think, you know what, I don't like him as a person. Just this one story. It's okay. Just a one story. Little kiss. One story. It's not gay. If it's a little kiss, not gay. <laughs> I can't be gay. It's just a little kiss. Right? This is one story alone <laughs> would make you feel like, hey, I don't like this guy. He's not my kind of guy, right? Comes across as the bully comes across as rude um you know all sorts of things you can say all sorts of things all sorts of things but god almighty man i love also like you said i must say more because i love how in stories he's always the hero right he's always the kind of the he's always the fucking white knight he's always a hero even when he's doing bad he's always the bad he's always the good guy it's really it's really interesting kind of thing but this just counteracts that whole claim you said about 
people only people people what people dislike me just because I do a podcast and because uh I tell what I do a free podcast I do stand up comedy it's like nah mate I think people dislike you for a little bit more than that you know what I mean like please please be a little bit aware of this please have a little bit more uh what's that word called a little bit more self awareness than just to think oh yeah they only they only don't like me because I do free podcasts and I tell jokes on stage